Hey pals! So today is day 16 of Vita, and I thought I would do 16 facts about me in honor of day 16. Um, because one of the things that you guys have mentioned in the comments is that it's been kind of cool for you to get to know the artists behind the paintings, so I thought I'd give you some more facts just about me, in case you want to know. <laughs> so the first thing about me is my birthday. Uh, my birthday is August 12th, 1992. I'm 24 and I'll be turning 25 this summer. Still feel pretty fine about being 25, and I'm Leo. Second thing about me is that I live in Missoula, Montana, and saying that I live in Montana is still kind of strange for me to say. I moved here in October of last year and spent most of my life in Northern California surrounded by beaches and San Francisco and just a very different culture. So I'm definitely still getting used to Montana. I'm not gonna get you too used to it because come October I will be moving again and traveling the country, but so far I love Missoula and I'm very glad to be here. Number three, I have synesthesia. Now, I'm not the person to tell you what synesthesia is because I don't have the most common form of it, but I'll link in the description a really, really cool video that is helpful to understanding it. Basically what it does for me is it kind of mixes up my senses, so sometimes I will taste something and it feels like something else. Or a song will have colors, or a color will have a personality. Sometimes that gets me into a lot of trouble, for example. Neon colors are probably the most offensive thing you could put around me, so me in the 80s would not get along too well. <laughs> Number four, kind of mixed in with the mental stuff, I also have really extreme dyslexia, and I suffer from a depersonalization disorder. So basically I think my brain is just a little off kilter, but it's okay with me. I've worked really hard to live my life in a way that suits all of the things that I struggle with. And these are things that I didn't really spend most of my life talking about. I think there was like a really big stigma about talking about mental illness and <laughs> I think just recently I've been trying to use my voice, especially through art, to talk about these things, especially my depersonalization disorder, because these are things that a lot of people deal with, and so if I'm not talking about them, maybe other people aren't comfortable talking about them either. So I'm working through talking about them, but they're a part of my daily life. Um, number five, I am an ENFP on the Myers-Briggs personality. Thing. Um, I think it said that's the campaigner. The first time I took it I was an INFP, um, but since then I think I just got a lot more extroverted. I enjoy being around people more and I get my energy from people. Some people still drain me. I'm a very, very empathetic person and so that can be good or bad. <laughs> Number six, I identify as queer. Um, most of my life I identified as bisexual or even for a brief time I identified as gay. Um, but kind of going through everything and, and thinking more critical about myself and the way that I wish to be perceived, identifying as queer just fit better for me. Especially now, my partner is non-binary, so nothing about being queer excludes my relationship or the people that I find myself attracted to or interested in. Number seven, I have a cat. His name is Charles Lickens. His full name is Charles Emmett Topher Lickens. The middle names came about because I realized that if I'm mad at him and I want to yell at him to stop doing something, just yelling Charles or Charles Lickens kind of made me giggle. So his full name needs to be yelled in order for me to be stern and motherly. Number eight, I am always, always, always interested in Mexican food. Probably like 9.8 times out of 10, if you ask me what I want to eat, it's probably going to be Mexican food. Mexican food is the only food that does not consistently give me a stomach ache. Everything else is kind of like playing Russian roulette. <laughs> Number nine, I have seven tattoos. Um, you can see some of them here, and here, and here, and here. I have some more. I love tattoos. All of my tattoos are designed by me. Um, aside from this one, which is a a uh, tattoo, the design is still designed by me, but it's based on art from an album by George Watsky, which you can find on Spotify or iTunes. I highly recommend any of Watsky's music. He's one of my favorites. Number 10, along with being an artist, I'm also a photographer. So I started actually taking photos um, my freshman year of high school and never really stopped. 
In fact, next month I'm going back to California to photograph a wedding there and I'm very excited about it. Number 11, I am allergic to Dayquil and NyQuil and if I take Dayquil, I hallucinate. I already kind of run the risk of hallucinations on a daily basis if I get tired or it's dark outside or I have vertigo, things like that. But when I take Dayquil, I actually see things like one time I saw a pterodactyl. Um, so I don't take Dayquil anymore, but it is kind of an interesting quirk about me. <laughs> Number 12, along with interesting quirks about me, I collect dead bugs. I also collect wall art, but usually the dead bugs are wall art because they're framed, but I collect things like butterflies and beetles and things like that. I think they're absolutely beautiful and I have a fear of the live bugs, so I started collecting them as a way to normalize them and find them beautiful so that I was less afraid of them and now I think bugs are so awesome and I'm a lot less afraid of them standing on me, walking on me, crawling on me. So it was pretty helpful. Number 13, I'm obsessed with camping. I think about camping pretty much most of my you know, most of the year. Growing up, I, I lived in Arizona for a lot of my childhood and we went camping all the time. Um, camping has just been a huge part of my life. I am most at peace and at home, sitting in the dirt next to a campfire, sleeping in a tent with my loved ones. Um, if I could spend my entire life camping, I probably would. I don't even think I would miss showers that much. Number 14, one of my favorite things to do is curate Spotify playlists. I spend way too many hours starting new playlists, filling them with songs, and hoping that my friends want to hang out and listen to them. Um, whether it's a road trip playlist, a summer playlist, or a playlist for a rainy day, I probably have one and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Number 15, my favorite series as far as movies and books go are Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. I am a huge, huge nerd when it comes to Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. I quote them pretty regularly and get really upset when nobody's seen them. Right now in Missoula, I have very little people who enjoy Lord of the Rings and I'm currently working to get my partner to watch them. As far as Harry Potter, I rewatch them all the time. In 2011, I even flew to Florida for a Harry Potter convention, so huge nerd right here. <laughs> and finally, number 16, I'm still afraid of the dark. Will I ever not be afraid of the dark? Who knows, but I am, so here we go. <laughs> um, anyway, those are some of the most important and some of those random things that I could think about myself. I hope that they were entertaining for you and that, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything left to say. Um, I was gonna film an art video today, didn't have enough battery. Um, to do so, so hopefully this week you'll get an art video from me now that I'm back home and ready to make art. So with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. With that, I will see you guys tomorrow.